In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Twilio Send SMS function block to send text messages directly to your customers. For this demo, we'll be creating an app that creates a promotional message for a product and then sends that promo message as a text to our customers. Let's get started. Before we set up our Twilio block, we'll need to set up the first couple automations in our app. First, I'm going to create some user inputs. This will ask the user to describe their product and overall style of the message they want to send to their customers. To do this, just tap the plus icon on the automation canvas and select Collect Input. Then in the configuration, add your inputs. For this demo, I've already created a list of inputs, so I'll quickly just bulk add them in. Next, we need to add a send message block. This will tell the AI to craft our promo message using data from the inputs we've created. To do this, tap the plus icon and select send message. In the configuration on the right, we can add our message. I've already crafted my message, so I'm just gonna paste it in here. Then under message settings, we're going to change the response behavior to assign to variable. This will allow us to reference the promo message the AI creates inside of our Twilio function block. For this demo, I'll call the variable text. Now that we've configured our inputs and send message, it's time to add our Twilio block. To do this, we'll again tap the plus icon, then select run function. Then in the configuration, we can select browse community functions. Scroll to the bottom to find the Twilio send SMS block and tap import. Now that we have our block, we'll need to configure a couple of things. First, we'll need to find the Twilio account SID. To do this, let's go over to Twilio. Once in Twilio, go to your account and select general settings. Add in the security code, then tap verify. Then under account details, you'll find the SID number. Copy that number and paste it into the space provided in Mind Studio. Next, we'll need to get our Twilio auth token. To do this, let's go back to Twilio. Still under general settings, you'll see a link to API keys and tokens. Once on this page, scroll to the bottom and copy the auth token under live credentials. Now we'll go back to Mind Studio and paste it into the space provided. Next, we'll have to add in the text message we want to send. Because the AI will be creating the promo message for us, we can use our send message variable by typing it in the space using double braces. Last, we'll need to add in the phone number the message will be coming from and the number we'll be sending the message to. For the from number, we'll be using the default number associated with my Twilio account, but you can use any other Twilio number that you have set up. For this demo, I'll be sending the message directly to myself. Now that we've finished the configuration, let's test it out to make sure it works. If we head over to the resources panel and select our function from the functions folder, it will open additional block settings. Navigate to the test data tab, and from here we can paste all of the configuration data between the two quotations. You'll notice that the Twilio text section shows hello world. This is the sample text that will be sent to the number we've provided but feel free to change this to whatever you'd like. Now hit the plus button to initiate the test. Looks like it went through. Here's what it looks like on the phone. Now let's open up a draft of our app and see it in action. For our product, we'll say that we're selling Peloton bikes. For the promo, we'll say that the customer will get 30% off a Peloton order between December 20th and January 2nd. For the tone, We'll say we want something fun and professional. And last, I'll just add in my promo link that can be added to the message. I'll tap next. And now our message should have been sent via text. Under runtime variables, we can see that the message was crafted and sent to the number we've provided. Here's how it looks on our phone. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.